Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing another grungy art journal page. This time it's an art journal collage. Grungy art journal collage. Okay, so as you can see, I've got loads and loads and loads of bits on my desk again. So I'm going to do another grungy style um, art journal page today. So again, I'm going to start off with a craft card base. This time I am going to scruff up the edges. I've done two already, mainly because I didn't want everywhere to be completely covered in craft card sawdust, if you know what I mean. So we'll do, it's going to be more of a kind of grungy collage today. And I've got quite a few different items that I want to include in the art journal page today. So we're going to do a bit of, we're going to do a bit of scruffing. So that's going to be the base that gets stuck down into the art journal once it's all done onto that. So we'll move the journal out to one side because we're not really going to need that until the end of the day. So I just want to give that a bit of a, a rip and a tear. But what I also want to do is towards the top, I want to just rip a little V shape out of it. Just like so, just a bit of a random tear and rip. And I've got these retro material papers that I got from Timu, from the Timu. And I thought what I'd do is I would just layer a piece of that, I don't want the full sheet actually, just a piece kind of big enough to go on the back. So that's going to go there. So then we'll put that so that it's kind of feeding in from the back. So it's kind of hidden, but not quite hidden, if you know what I mean. So let's just grab a glue stick. Diane Reevely glue stick here. And we'll glue that to the back there. So then we've got that bit coming in from the outside. So we're already starting to build up some texture in that background. So what do I do with my glue? It's over there. There we go. So I'll throw that Timu thing away. So we're still going to need the scruffers in a bit. So let's just grab some paint and throw some of that down. Now you're not going to see a huge amount of this kind of paint today because hello there's a mr nip <laughs> you're back again bentley and Ian are away or out today so it's just me and the lad and we've just been having teddy play but i thought he was done because he just jumped on the bed and sat down as if to say no, i've had enough now dad that's it so again, just add in some white grunge to that background. So before it dries, I just want to bring in some brownie colour. Even though we've got brown in the background, I'm going to add a little bit. It's almost the same colour as the craft card look. That was a bit of a quinky dink, wasn't it? Right, oh, maybe that's not the right colour brown then. <laughs> maybe we should bring something else. Maybe a bit of orange instead. There we go. Keep on the, the brownie warm side. That's more like it. That's going to give us a bit more of a kind of a vintagey feel, isn't it? More of a distressed, grungy, rusty kind of feel, which is the sort of mood that I'm in today. So we've got that. So why not bring in some blue as well? Just to kind of give us a little bit of a third degree esque kind of affair, which will also, when it's mixed, gives a little bit of green. 
to variation from that background. See how it's gone green there, look. That's nice, I like that. Like I said, we're not really going to see most of this because it will be hidden under the layers. So, but let's just add a bit of grunginess. So I've put those two colours away, but not put them away permanently because we might just come back. Hello, Mr. Nip. What are you doing? Eh? You having a sniff round? <laughs> Okay, I just need to get that dried off really, really quick. And then I'll be back. All right, so we're all nice and dry. So I now have this kind of vintage invoice with this beautiful lady printed over the top. So they're two separate. That's the image of the beautiful lady, which I have manipulated on my computer and added it to one of these invoices, just so that I could have it layered without using tissue paper. So what I'm gonna do with this, exactly the same thing as what we did with the, um, the craft card, is give it a real, a real good scruff in. So oh, it's easier if you actually hold it down. So it was just printed onto cardstock, onto the usual cardstock that we use for everything else. But this is a little bit softer than the craft card, so I'll be able to get more, um, more of a distressed, grungy kind of edge to it. If you haven't got one of these edge scruffer tools, then you can just do, get the same thing or the same effect by using the blade or a pair of scissors. You literally get exactly the same results. This is just a bit safer than playing with a pair of scissors because the blades are enclosed. reason I've got three is because we used to sell them in the shop when we had the shop back in the day um, and I was always losing mine and then once I got a new one off the shelf um, I'd always find it so I ended up with multiples <laughs> okay so now we've got all that snow that we don't want we'll get rid of all that into the bin and then we can start adding um, some grunge and dirt to this. So I've got a distress foam and I've got my brushed corduroy. And then we can just start adding some dirt and grime. I did say it was going to be a grungy page today. I think 2024 is going to be the, the year of grunge. Last year, our byword was embrace imperfection. This year, I think it's going to be get grungy. Get grungy. Who doesn't love a piece of bit of grunge? <laughs> Well, I suppose people out there that like it all nice, neat and tidy. When I'm doing journals and things, I prefer the journals to be all neat and tidy. But sometimes, you know, grunge is where it's at. OK, so. Don't like the fact that that's that even. So we'll just tear some of that corner off, I think. And then we'll chip into there and pull some of that out and make that a bit raggy. And then we'll also have a little bit 
of this torn out as well just because no other reason than we can so let's bring that distress back in that's not the same one there we go that's more like it I suppose what I could do as well if I was in the mood for that kind of thing is I could burn it but I don't particularly want to fill the room with smoke and the smell of burning paper today not when I've got the dog sat with me so not the sort of thing that I want to do today right so let's bring that back in and that's going to go in that corner there like that so let's grab some glue so we'll just use pva yes i did do a tester which was too big but rather than waste the paper i use the back see not wasteful crafter at all i do recycle some bits it was much too big for what I wanted. Right, so let's stick that down there. Still want to see that grunge coming in there, which is lovely stuff. I like that a lot. And then I've got some corrugated cardboard, which I'm going to rip. Just have a little bit of that coming in as well. On a bit of that, let's grab that glue. I think we'll have some of that coming in at the top, and we'll just have a small bit, a small bit. over on that right hand side as well just texture I'm trying to keep the bottom left hand corner a bit free we will grunge this up later don't worry all right so what you could do now if you wanted to is grab your distress just start adding your grunge to that now if you want to. I'm going to wait till it's a bit drier. Get rid of some of that, that fluff. And then I'll be back. So everything is now dried. I've got a little collection of bits and pieces of ephemera that I've collected from my stash. So this one is from one of the Tim Holt botanical sets. So we're going to use that. I've got a little John Keats quote. My love is selfish. I cannot breathe without you. Um, I've got my number three, which I'm going to add because this is the third grungy page that I've done this year so far. And I've got a couple of um, kind of like ephemera stickers that there's books and a cup of tea. Because if you're reading Keats, obviously the books play into that. And obviously having a nice cup of tea with it is just perfect. So those are going to be the elements that I'm going to be adding to the art journal page so i shall just glue the back of the flowers now the tim holtz ephemera from the botanicals has got a little bit of a shiny surface don't normally like that but this time i've allowed it but i've also just gone around the edges just with a little bit of distress um distressing just because and then we'll have now i believe this is actually a sticker in its own right but i don't think i'm going to bother with the sticker i'm going to just put the glue on the back the 
because it makes the back thicker or makes the actual piece thicker. So I'm going to put that about there, just covering up the bottom of those flowers and just breaking into that corner of the bottom of our main collage piece with the, the lady on. Okay, and then again, the books are stickers, but I'm leaving the back on. I'm not using them as stickers. So those books can then just pull that over that way a little bit. That's it. The books can sit there quite nicely. I'm not sure where those flowers over the top. It's just that's it. Give it a bit of dimension. So they're tucked behind, but over the top of the books, like that. And then the teacup. Because what's a book without a cup of tea? It just doesn't belong, does it? You've got to have cup of tea when you're reading a book. All right, so the next piece, don't need to look at that because I've got some double-sided sticky tape on the back of this one, but this is thick already because these were printed onto large, uh, sorry, thick cardstock and I'm going to put it up there. That's number three. Okay, but we're not done yet. Not quite. Right. Let me just leave that for a few minutes and then I'll be back. Everything's had a few minutes now just to kind of dry up a little bit. So I just wanted to come in and add a little bit more grunge to the page. So I'm going to grab a small, small brush. Just clean it off first. And then we're just going to add some dry brushing. With the brush. Just a little. Just to kind of grab the edges of all, just a few of the areas. That's not sticking down very well. That's all right. Let's have a little bit more kind of white grungy paint on there just to dirty it up a little bit. I think what I'll do is just grab a tiny tiny bit more of that orange just to kind of bring in that that corrosive kind of feel and look and then just dry brush a little bit of that in the foreground just to help bring that colour from the background into the foreground, just a little. That way it's not completely kind of barren of colour. But I like that, it's just a subtle kind of hint of additional colour inside the actual page itself. So, like I said, we're not quite done yet. Let me just give that a wipe up. There we go. 
So I have here um, a couple of sheets of, let me just zoom out a little so you can see the full page if you like. So these are a couple of pages, digi downloads on the website. These are called Random Words and Numbers. So these are a collection of literally what it says on the tin, random words and numbers in kind of vintagey colours that you can just cut up and stick into your collages um, just to add a bit of like background interest to them. So I wanted some numbers so i think i'm going to have that just for ease of use if you like figure 549 they have already got a little bit of um faux grunge on them anyway but you can always add which i will do in a moment some of my own let's make that a bit thinner and then just using that distress sponge we used earlier. I can just go back around. I can't remember exactly how many is on each one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty two, eighty eight. So two lots of two lots of eighty eight. A hundred and what? 76 is that probably wrong there trying to do mental maths as well as add distress you know with blokes can't do multitasking um right so there's that one but also i think i want one more um so we'll just carry on using the same sheet i think and I think what we'll have is, we'll have that, that one down there. The one that says, actually, let's have a blue one. Let's have that number 1929, because, you know, we have got a kind of vintagey lady. When I was looking at these images, she reminded me of one of the Gibson girls. She isn't one of the Gibson girls, but she reminds me of like one of those Gibson girl illustrations. All right, let's add some grunge to that, just to get rid of those. So that will bring the blue from the background into the foreground as well. So just think about the colors of your ephemera and see if you can link the colours from background into foreground. Because we've already got orange now in the foreground, adding another orange one wouldn't really have worked. So let's just see where we're going to stick these to. Let's try up there. So... I think up here somewhere. Let's add those numbers together. Like that. And then we'll add the blue one down here at the bottom. That way you've got the blue up there and then that will draw the eye across this side. Oops. Burner fingers, and we'll add that just down here at the bottom. Number nineteen twenty nine. I like the fact there's that tear up there with the writing behind it. Let's just peel that corner back a little bit. There we go. And I could even just stripe over that. Add a bit more grunge to taste. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's get that into the art journal. So we will use double sided tape again because I think the glue will pull off.
it will lift from the page so at least i know this won't because it's too blooming strong and we'll do three again I can't remember whether I signed and dated the others. I think I did, but one of them I dated wrong because I obviously didn't know what day of the week it was. But that's okay. As long as we're about the right date. <laughs> Come on, Yuki Monkey. That's it. That's one. That's two. Well, that was easy. I must be getting good at this. All right, so. I've kind of cut the craft card so it gives me a white border all the way around. So I'm hoping that that's about right. And I like the fact that this is a ring band because it still gives it that kind of industrial kind of feel there we go now then did i date the other two yes i did no i didn't okay so well we'll date it we'll date it let's see if i can find a pen there we go Move out of the way, so I've got a little bit of a fighting chance. Uh, we'll, we'll date it here. We'll put it up here. All right. So if I do my little reserve, hello, Mister Nip. He's on the prowl again. Uh, what date is it today? Do you know, I've absolutely got no idea. Tuesday the 9th. There we go. That was me kicking my paints over, by the way. It's all right, the lids were on. So, 9th January 24. There we go. We'll play in a little while, darling. It's not time to go out for WLKs just yet. I don't think, anyway. <laughs> so, there we have it. There's my grungy art journal collage for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me put that page together. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video for more ones like this one. See you all again real soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you